What up, y'all? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. I want to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Nicki Minaj's lawsuit uh, by a former artist, Brinks Billions. He's suing Nicki for reportedly $200 million dollars. For copyright infringement and we'll explain that in a minute but first I want to start it off by talking about Tory Lanez gets confronted on Clubhouse app gets into a heated argument with a bunch of females who approached Tory and wanted to know exactly who he thought he was walking around here gaslighting everybody and you know, acting so he, like he's innocent and not recognizing the seriousness of the situation. Let me start off there. I told y'all, I told y'all, you rappers, you media people, I told y'all stay off clubhouse did not not say that was that not my first thing that i've said when people said heaven get on clubhouse i said that clubhouse is going to be the death of y'all somebody will end up getting arrested stay off clubhouse did i or did i not say that to all my followers okay that's what i thought because this gives people an opportunity to come behind just a voice. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to confront them face to face. And it gives you a voice to make you believe you are bigger than what you are. Now, Tory Lanez has stated over and over that he does not want to talk. He cannot say much due to his case. Which me personally, I always thought was BS, but that's beside the point. Because Tory has said enough in his music. And then on another live. So the only thing Tory has not really said is what exactly happened to Megan's foot and what that fight was about. But that's not neither here nor there. These females approached Tory Lanez in Clubhouse. And it was like an interrogation. A bunch of women asking him, well, why haven't you said something? Well, if I was innocent, if you was accused of murder and they said you did it, you'd be screaming to the high heavens that you didn't do it. But why when it's about hurting a black woman... You come off condescending like you're gaslighting Megan and, and gaslighting the situation. And Tori is sitting here. I understand that. I understand. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a Canadian citizen. And my lawyer, my lawyer is a black woman. All right. And my dad is a preacher. I'm a I'm a son of a pastor. So I'm always from from at no point have I ever feel as though black women should be hurt ever. And he's sitting here explaining this to these bunch of nobodies. Who has now got them a full-fledged interview slash interrogation segment all over the world for free. For free. So now... They're basically telling Tori, why can't you say something? Oh, I'm not trying to hear that BS. You can Tori sitting there talking with his little Canadian manners. And I understand, you know, 
I apologize to any woman who may have felt uncomfortable by the situation. And this said, and they're telling them, well, why don't you stop beating around the bush and stop saying the situation and take accountable and say what you did. I mean, they were obviously mad because Tori wasn't going to come out and say, I didn't shoot her. I didn't do anything to her. And he finds himself because, why? Because he wants to go into these rooms and clubhouse and the, and he's the topic of conversation. So he feels as though he has to stop there to what? Clear his name? Bruh, either you're going to talk or you're not. If you're not going to talk, what in the hell are you doing in Clubhouse approaching these women who obviously had an agenda from the beginning? Now, Tori, you're supposed to have some smart people behind you. You mentioned your lawyer, this, that, and the other. I, you know, I see you talking to a few bloggers online or one particular blogger who's very smart. I mean, man, what is wrong with you? I told y'all, stay off Clubhouse. Now, they sit here. They got themselves. They don't went viral. They don't went viral. And now they're all blow up like they're some sort of big time journalist because, oh, they had Tory Lane staggering. Bruh, if you're not going to talk about it, then why continue to talk about it? Why say, oh, because I'm not going to sit around and just let people, you know, judge me unjustifiably when they were not there to judge the situation and what happened. Tori, stay off Clubhouse. And again, who do these people think they are that you are going to be interrogating Tory Lanes? I'm telling you, man, that's why I will never go on there because them women would have got cussed out. I don't give a damn about, oh, he's disrespecting women. They would have got cussed out royally. Nicki Minaj being sued for $200 million from former protege artists of hers brings billions. Now, if anyone does not remember brings billions, if you go back to, I believe it was the first MTV special when they had like the little documentary about her moment, Nicki Minaj moment, uh, moment or oh, something. This is her moment or whatever like that. There was a scene when she was talking about her lyrics. Looks like she was writing some of Roman's Revenge or something. And there were two dudes sitting next to her. And she was patting herself on the back about her lyrics up there. The girl said this. da 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 and she's like, that girl bad, or something like that. Well, Brinks Billions was one of those guys that was sitting there. He was one of the guys that was sitting in the back room. Uh, or sitting in that room with Nikki. If you also don't remember, there was a time where Nikki was trying to get him some pub. And she took him out with him. She went out to dinner with him. No Safari wasn't there. And then she took him like to a red cup to an event. And you know, they were holding hands and and everybody was saying, Oh, Nikki's got a new man, this new mystery, this new mystery man. Safari must be done. And all it really was is Safari sat back and went along with it because she said, I just want to get my artist some PR. And Safari went along with it. Safari didn't care. He's going to tag that ass when she got home. So why should he care? <laughs> well, he's suing her 
uh, for a song, Rich Sex, I believe the song is called. I, I don't even remember the song. That's how irrelevant the song is to me. But the song was obviously on the Queen album, Rich Sex. And he is claiming that he not only um, wrote some lines that Nicki copied, but he said Nicki Minaj, when he let her hear the song, she said that song is really marketable and really good, and you could definitely sell that. And then when her Queen album came out, he said that the song was on the album without his permission. So he's saying that, and she also stole some of his lyrics and the flow and cadence and vocal arrangement of the song. So he's suing Nicki Minaj, Universal, Cash Money, Young Money, Lil Wayne, Susie, Bobby, the dog catcher, everybody else. And he wants $200 million. Now, I'm going to say this. I do know Banks. Everybody knows my encounter with Nicki Minaj, three encounters, studio, you know, right before Pink Friday was released. And yes, Brinks Billions has contributed to songs of Nicki Minaj. However, speaking from what I have seen, I have personally never seen him give any bars to Nicki Minaj. Now, did he give her a ver uh, you know a couple of words? That's possible. People, Nas is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. Even he admitted that he got the beginning of one mic. All I need is one mic, one stand, one. Two. He even admitted that he got that from his brother Jungle. So it happens in hip hop. It's not a big deal. But the whole thing is Brinks Billions. You have been found out, or or they've now people uh, shout out to Black T Blog, who have noticed some tweets back in 2018. Where you was praising rich sex. So if you're praising it, my brother, and Brinks is, 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 is a cool dude. If you were praising it, it's going to be a little hard to try to pull this off as she took it without permission. So before you do things like that, Brinks billions. You might want to clean the internet, bruh. <laughs> you might want to scrub it. Scrub Twitter. Even then, it might be too late. So he's suing for $200 million. I really don't think he's going to get nowhere close to that if he gets anything. If Nicki Minaj, if it's proven that she stole lyrics from him, and put it out, and there was nothing decided between them two, then she's got to pay a little something, but it's definitely not going to be $200 million because that song didn't make nowhere near $200 million. I mean, come on, pipe down. Boy, Nikki, ever since she put the pictures of her precious baby out, everybody's just been coming for her. <laughs> so that's all we're talking about for today. Nikki Minaj and Super, $200 million. I can confirm that, yes, he is a writer. He has helped Nikki in the past with melodies and hooks, but I've never heard any, no, not just him, I've never seen anybody write any bars for Onika Tanya Mirage. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend.